Hi everybody. Hi. Welcome to Twinset and Pearls Knitting Podcast. <laughs> I've eaten dark chocolate. <laughs> so Sorry. I'm Jo. I'm Rachel. And together we design as Twinset and Pearl. Um got lots and lots to tell you about. Yeah, we've today. been away for a few couple of weeks, a few weeks. Yeah, now. lots lots has been happening. Um first of all, let's just say where we are. Yeah. Because we're in the hotel room. We're in Waltham Abbey. We're here for the Waltham Abbey Wool Show. We're so excited for tomorrow. Mm. First yarn show of the year. And we haven't been to this yarn show before. It's no. its 10th anniversary. And we're really excited. Mm. Can't wait. Mm. Some of our favourite people are here, so it's really good. Yeah, so that's why the light and the lighting may be slightly odd. So we're just yeah, going to do it. It's, just... um, it's three o'clock on a Saturday, wet, grey Saturday afternoon in Essex. And we're try so we're going to try our hardest and to in show you. In a hotel stuff. room, so there's never an overhead light, so it's always a bit. Mm. The light, lighting's always a bit dodgy. So um, hopefully us this will be all right. <laughs> cool. So just, we've got a lot of admins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to start, um, first of all, just want to apologise that the cal ended, but we didn't announce the prize winners straight away because um, I've had a rough few weeks. And it just it was it was down to me actually to get in touch with people and stuff like that. I feel like I've got dark chocolate in my teeth. And um, but we have got the winners' names and we're going to announce them all now. So from from our this is our gift along, Cal. <laughs> no, no, fine. Sorry, I really must apologise. <laughs> right. So we had the twin set and pearl gift along, Cal. And the grand prize winner was Keeney Sal from, from from Ravelry, from the Ravelry group. And I can't remember what she knitted now. I should have written it down. Just, she's done a lot. She's done quite a few of our... Uh, um, there was definitely a Loretta Road. Yeah, she definitely... Um, I can't remember which post won, though. But anyway. Um, so she won the grand prize, which was two skeins of yarn, the project bag. And I didn't... We haven't brought it with us, I'm afraid. So... Um, I will be getting in touch with her. And then we had four other winners, two from Instagram and two from Ravelry, um, which we just picked ourselves because, um, well, there weren't a huge number of entrance, entrants. But. Yeah. So um, these people all won a pattern of their choice from Ravelry. Um, so that's Magcar One, Leisure Knitter, Bluebell76 and Crescendo Gal. So we will get in touch with them either on Instagram or Ravelry, depending on which um, medium they came to us by. And then we have a winner from the What Twin Set and Pearl pattern are you knitting? And the last, so if you're all the people who entered the gift along could have entered that, that um, thread as well. Because every month we pick a prize, we pick a winner, and um, we give any pattern. We give yeah. a prize of any pattern and on Ravelry. So and um, we haven't had any. So November we had we had a, we didn't pick anybody um, last month from November. We were we were a bit remiss, but um, there weren't there haven't been any any comments since November. So we haven't got a winner for December. But the winner for November was Sandy Tom. So I'll get in touch with her as well. And then last... Yeah, so if, you, if you're knitting any of our patterns, mm. definitely join, join the thread. Ravelry group and go in that thread and, and post because yeah. uh, once a month we're going to give a pattern away. Yeah. And remember that we have the code BONUS20 for 20% um, off any of our patterns. The gift along one's obviously ended now. The promotion's ended. But yeah, for the pod people who watch the podcast, BONUS20 is the code to use on any of our patterns mm -hmm. and I, I need to add a few new ones that we've, yeah. uh, that we've released but and apologies if you can hear the rain but it's really rain it's, All of a sudden really, it's really, really badly rain. it's quite noisy on the window and then the last podcast we, right at the end we talked about um having a january challenge and that we'd have we'd pick a winner from the comments to win one of our prizes our pattern our prizes <laughs> oh my god our patterns and that winner is, the winner of that is Heather Wilson. And Heather's January challenge is to finish a blanket 
that she started this year using yarn from Monthly Yarn Club from last year. So she wants that to be her January challenge. That sounds like a very good January mm. challenge to me. It does. I'm doing really well with mine. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. But... Cool. So that's it. That's all the admin. <laughs> so next, what are we wearing? We're both wearing drops brushed alpaca silk. Yeah. And Rachel knit both of these. I did actually. I'm knit I'm wearing the Museau by Espastrico, which is a circular yoke kind of blousy. Um can't quite believe this is a knitted sink. This is just one mm. strand. But I love it. Um it's a free pattern on Ravelry. We will add links. And now it's the description it's still the description block box description box below but it's you have to click where it says more rather than the little the arrow. arrow yeah they've changed yeah. youtube i think and it then, does depend on what device you're looking yeah. at looking at watching us on yeah. um i'm not sure on the tv whether you it's easy to get to yeah it's difficult to it's very difficult on the television to like yeah. or subscribe but, the, but yeah on the on your phone or on um a device maybe mm. there's a little more thing and i'm wearing the Felix, Felix, which Rachel had, was your FO in the last podcast. Mm. Um, and I don't wear blue very often, mm. but I'm actually really liking yeah. it. I like that blue especially. Mm. So, yeah. Cool. And the Felix is a... Oh. Yeah, the Felix is by um, Amy Christopher's, Amy Christopher's um, Savoury Knitting. And she's also got a cardigan version mm. of it. And I think... It's a Sarah is doing a Felix along right. in February. Mm -hmm. um, she was gifted several Felixes, oh. Felix cardigans, um, knit in the non-spun one, unspun yarn, the Puetalo piece. Oh, right. One of those. Yeah. Um, and she um, gave them to people. But she's um yeah, she's gonna knit one. So um yeah, the It's a Sarah podcast is lovely. She's really enthusiastic Ooh, maker and I really yeah. I really like watching yeah. her. She does a podcast podcast every week. And um and you can knit a Felix in a week as well. So. Mm. <laughs> Big needles. Yeah. And in this yarn it's so light. Yeah. It's like there's nothing it's really warm, but yeah. there's nothing to it. It's a nice um a nice layer. Yeah, I want to knit a, a size smaller than this one, but I really like it. Mm. Cool. So, how many FOs have you got? I've got two FOs. So have I. How many whips have you got? Um, well, I've got several for my January challenge, and right. then two. I've got four altogether. Right. Does that include your January challenge? Yes, that includes my January challenge. Right. Right, so have you got two? Have you got shawls? I've got a shawl and a hat as an FO. Okay, well go first. Go show you the hat needs to be seen first. Well, so it's been two hats, hasn't it? It's been two hats. I knit. Can't even remember what it's called. Spur. I knit the spur yeah. hat, and which was des designed in this yarn. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't like it, so I ripped it out. But it was the first time you'd done brioche. Yes, that was that didn't bother me. Oh, right. There was something about it that I didn't like. I can't remember. Anyway, I ripped it out and I knit the tied knots hat because she loved mine so yeah. much. Yeah, and it's <laughs> it's yellow. <laughs> we can see her coming. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I do walk a lot. Mm. I most of most of my um, transport is walking. Mm. So I absolutely love this for, you know, um, it's Rose Pomar um, Mondine. Mondine, held double. I don't know what the colour number is. We can I find out. I don't that. think if you looked on their site, you would miss this one. No. Um, it's the brightest yellow. I've got another two skeins of it. I want to knit a shawl. But it's held double to get a double knit. And it's like it's weatherproof. Really? Mm. I absolutely love it. Can I feel it? It's quite, um, it's not yeah. soft, but it's. Um... 
<laughs> put it on. Have you got it like a? I'd left a little knot at the back so I could know which way the back was. Ah, uh, yeah. There you go. I've got a bigger head than you. Oh, that doesn't suit me at all. So yeah, so that's my first fo. Mine's drapey. I knit it. I knit it in like an evening and a morning. Yeah, it does feel like armour. <laughs> yeah, but it's. Um, I love this pattern. It's beautiful. Yeah. You just don't want to stop. I just. Oh, I love mm. it so much. <laughs> so yeah, that's the tied knots hat by. Just seen a look at the cow, the cow, the cow skirt. And it's free pattern. Yeah, it's been Mallory. in our and it's been in our show notes a few times. Yeah, Rachel's knit another one. I'm I'm going to knit a grey one as well. I love it. But well, on the days when I don't want to be bright yellow, I'm going to knit a grey one. <laughs> Have you got grey four ply or are you going to? I've, I've got, got grey some grey DK. Cool. Um, I've got two pairs of socks. So these are the ones that you saw last episode. These are my advent socks. I was knitting them to it like in tandem. So it was pretty easy to finish the pair. But I actually finished them with the massive long legs. I don't quite mm. know what's going on with me. Um, so they're beautiful, aren't they? This rainbow. This is Yarn Badger, the Yarn Badger yarn. And Santa's, it's called Santa's Rainbow. Mm. Lovely. And I love this bit especially. <laughs> and... I've got enough left. I think it goes through. What am I looking at? Yours there. there. Yeah. So, so, the... so I've got that to, uh, back up to the yellow, and I think I'm going to knit a pair of fingerless mittens mm. in it. But yeah, so that's I finished them a few days before twenty. I just finished them because I couldn't wait. Couldn't just knit two stripes a day, but I didn't post about them until mm. Christmas Eve. So yeah. So they, I've shown those on Instagram. Sure, yeah. And then last time I said that I didn't know, I thought I was going to fail. I bit, so last year, every month I knitted a pair of self-striping socks, sock yarn, sock, into socks. And um, I hadn't started them the last time we podcast, which was our birthday. So it was over halfway through the month. But I just bish, bash, boshed, knocked a pair out. <laughs> and this is the de, this was the de December Friends Club, which was the Christmas um, episodes, and it was um, I didn't get to shake my belly like a bowl full of jelly. That's the name of it. <laughs> and it's Thank I did these right. lovely bubbles. I I mm. love them. They're so nice. So I knitted. I yeah, knit this. It flew off the needles. Self striping does, I, yeah. yeah say, I think you just, striping you just want to, but that's the last of my friends' club. I've knitted them all, so I'm going to start wearing some of them. Mm. Mm -hmm. and my next fo is my shawl that I was knitting in the last episode. That's also a new design. It is a new design, yes. Mm. Um, it now has a name. <laughs> um we're gonna we're gonna call it the fizzy pop shawl and uh it's called fizzy pop we had a whole conversation mm -hmm. about um whether we should call this one after our other granddad. other granddad who was arthur but arthur didn't really go <laughs> and we always called him pop we always called him pop and then when we used to go and stay with them we were used to we used to stay with them on a Friday night to give our parents a bit of a break from the from the twins. <laughs> so we used to go and stay with them on a Friday night, and our granny always used to buy us fizzy pop from the milkman. That's where you yeah that's Corona only, yeah you could only buy it from the milkman in those days or yeah. the pub yeah get bottles of coke in the pub but um, in the seventies when we were growing up, so um, we thought fizzy pop yeah. And it's um, the same shape as um, the Morris shawl. So it's this um, long crescent um, and it's got these pops of mohair on the bottom. 
the yarn, the, the main yarn is um, Sana's Gone Why are you Sunday. Sana's Gone Sunday. Um, I think I've mentioned the colour in the like, previous podcast, so we'll find that in the show notes. I'm really sorry, it's like a pale grey. And then the mohair is from wool, the Wool Kitchen and it's called Incandescent. And I love it. It's like bright neony pink and there's some peachy colours in there and some pale blue. And it just beautiful. It's beautiful. Kathy's not getting so when you wear it, cup of tea. Um, do you wrap it around more than once? No. You get I'll hope to wear it. Mm. You get all these pops. It's lovely. I love and the pink and grey together. Yeah. And that yarn, that mohair has gone so far. Yeah, this is the third design <laughs> that's been in. <laughs> um, so there will be a call for testing the fizzy pop. Um, probably in a, in a couple of weeks time, week or so. Um, but let us know if you're interested. Cause yeah, yeah. Um, I've I've almost written the design up, but I'm not sure I'm up to another test in it mm. for a little bit. So um, <laughs> yeah, and I also I want to knit a cowl version, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put them in the same pattern. Yeah. So um, so that's going to take me a little bit of time. Just, yeah, do that and then do the test knit. Yeah. So the cowl is going to be in a similar shape to the. Um, trillion cowl that came out last weekend. This is the trillion cowl, um, which I'm going to show in new releases. But it's um, it's the asymmetric um, cowl. So it's the fizzy pop one's going to be a fingering weight, mm -hmm. and the pops we're going to will come down here. Oh, okay. So um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, I love it. And um, it's really funny because you, in this pattern, you, um, you in, it's like in three sections, different rates of increasing yeah. so that you get... Don't the, cover your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> different rates of increasing so you get the crescent shape. Um, but then when you start doing the decreasing, it just phew, flies. Yeah. Well, it's, it's such a lovely... I think it sits so much nicer than crescents the other way. Yeah. When you end up with loads of stitches, mm. because your bind off has to be um, loose. Yeah. And also, you have Without that. Huge, blocked yet. You have that huge number of stitches yeah. as well. You, on that, you never. Yeah. Have. The most. This is 101 stitches. Is the most stitches you have. And it's just gar. The most. It is. Well, it is. It's all garter. Mm. Some of the, these ones are pulled and they're knit. But um, <laughs> yeah. Don't give the pattern away. Don't give the pattern away. Right, what are we talking about now? Whips. Whips. Oh. What's that? Oh, that's a hat. A, a that's hoe. a hoe. Where should, what should we start with? Should we start with a sweater? Do you want to start with a January challenge? Yeah, let's start with a January challenge. Oh. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> my January challenge is quite large. Because <laughs> there's lots to my January challenge. So... I'm going to go first. Oh, go on. You've just, you just been talking. So this is a little present Joe gave me, which is now a little notions pouch. That is from a stall in Bristol near St Nick's Market. They have, a, they have an outdoor market on a Saturday and a Wednesday. And this lady gets remnants of mulberry leather. So that's mulberry. That's a mulberry, that's from a mulberry bag. Mm. Is that from there? <laughs> yeah. She also gave me this little heart. Put it on mine. So in here is... So Rachel's challenge... Oh yeah, my, my January challenge is to finish my marble mount sweater. Have you got a picture of it? I've got a picture. I can insert... I've learned how to insert pictures. Everybody. Ah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I will be... So you can teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah. <laughs> But you can treat and you can um teach this old dog, dog new tricks. tricks. Right, that's a, there's a picture. So it's quite 
it's a zero ease sweater which we're not quite sure about at the moment <laughs> with my current physique <laughs> shall we say you might be wearing it more than me but i'm knitting it so i've started this for her hohi fall knit along and i don't know if anybody remembers the last from the last podcast i'd got to there on the body so i've done all of that plus i'm now on the ribbing for the body i've also done a whole sleeve which is a long sleeve it is a long sleeve and i so i've got one sleeve to go and the ribbing and it's the 14th of january so i think i'm good to i go. think you're in very, good shape yeah good shape and this is rowan valley tweed in the high force colorway and you can see it's got these lovely red you can see it in the knitting more than yeah, you can see it on the board. Red and blue little flecks of the tweed. And I love it. And I have tried it on. It does fit. It hasn't been blocked yet. It needs blocking because it's um this fabric is very stiff. Woolly, it's a very yeah. woolly wool, isn't it? But I like how she does this, the cuffs. So you knit the rib and then you do three rows of stop and see of just knit. Mm. So it's a nice edging when it's when it's blocked that'll be nice mm. yeah so um it's quite and i think having the challenge having said it's my challenge has actually yeah spurred me on although i have been knitting on the other sweater a bit more lately but that just to, just to show you is living in my newest botanical yarn bag which i got with the winter floral box and it's got these gold beautiful it's got gold I like the orange it. ones. Yeah, these really stand out, don't they? Mm. Oops, got me ball the wool now. Not under there. It's all right. Leave it for now, and we'll get it better. <laughs> 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 oh, you alive? Can't anything. take me anywhere. <laughs> right, let's just put that on the floor with a ball. Yeah. Cool. Right, you're, so so, you've got lots to go through. Well, my January challenge was to finish, try and finish all of my sock whips which there were four pairs on the needles and i will show you what i have done we've got a colour theme going on here yes. right there's four little bags let's just show you the colours yeah so it's definitely a palette yeah so the one that i've done most on is this one um and we can't i can't remember the name of the yarn it was from the um me to me box by bird street 2019 2018 2019 mm -hmm. um and i i'm about to do an after my first ever afterthought heel rachel's going to show me how to do it so i've knit the i'd knit to about there before the challenge so i've knit basically knit the foot and the toe on that one and i've cast on for the second one wow and i'm past about where i was on the first one on the second one good nice so, long cuff you've done as well yeah that was because we were in the queue for we were in the queue for something and i just kept going on the cuff so i did oh yeah i did like 16 rows of rows of cuff um, and that's in my little, this little tiny bag, rammed in this little tiny bag. This is by a company called Bungalow De in, from Denmark. And I got it in a little like lifestyle shop in um, Bedminster, near where I live in Bristol. And um, they don't sell them anymore, unfortunately. It's like a little, meant to be like a little makeup bag. I wanted one, but it's so cute. And it's got these lovely little tufts on. I love it. Um, right, so that's that one. So the afterthought heel is going to be taught me at some point this weekend. And then the next one that I've worked on is my Anthony sock. Mm. So Anthony, well, I just finished the heel and the gusset. Anthony's a design by me. Yeah. So I brought the sock blocker for this one. I, I, finish, I finished the toe last night 
and I planned to Kitchener it this morning mm. and then got distracted. Yeah. So um, it's still attached <laughs> to the yarn. Um, you all right? Yeah. Doesn't he look magnificent on a sock <laughs> rocker? He looks very odd not on a sock rocker. <laughs> White. No, he's a bit squiff. Squiff. Um, yeah. So, Anthony is this. Um, Turn it round because more of him's showing the other side. There you go. <laughs> it's a cable. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I used to do that with the umbrella. I know we had it round the other way. The flexi fib <laughs> nearly in my face. Oh. So, Anthony is this lovely um, cable design it's in pairs of cables um and yeah and he just needs his he just needs his end <laughs> it. um are they for you they're for me and this is knit in um phil galana alveta classic it looks really it is sock yarn isn't it it is sock yarn superwash merino wool and nylon it's, it looks so soft it is really soft and that's i'm keeping that in a little gray girl Bag. Flamingo bag. Flamingos. This is the colour 971. Flamingos and pineapples. Mm. I love it. Um, so, yeah. So, how are you getting on with your challenge? Have you. So, um, how many socks did you have to knit? I had to knit five. five and I've knit two. Knit, nearly knit. When I finished that other sock, yeah. that'll be two socks knit half mm -hmm. of this one half of the other one and a whole another one right so i've still got three and the ones that you're worried about oh, are the ones yeah. on the smaller needles aren't they? Yeah. yeah so not worried about no so i when i started knitting socks this was the first one here which is a long shom um which belongs to me if everybody had, if everybody what, was had what was theirs um and this is rachel another design of rachel's the calico quilt. Oh, I like it in that yarn. And this yarn is um, Miss, oh, Miss Mellow Mellow Fruitfulness by Bird, Bird Street. Street. And I th thought I was going to run out. So I start. I did a bit of um, stripes. stripes in the toe. And that is Old Number 7 and Beaujolais. Beaujolais. Which was in the, was the Duke. Left yeah. over from the Duke. So... But I started off knitting on 2.5 millimetre needles and I really didn't enjoy it. Um, and I, my tension, I'm such a tight knitter that I think you get 10 rows an inch yeah. and I was getting 12 rows mm -hmm. an inch on a 2.5. So I've gone up to a 2.75 and it's just so much better. Mm. So, I mean, that doesn't even look like it's the same size. <laughs> I know it's not been blocked yet. But <laughs> it probably isn't the same size. It fits though. Yeah. So I've got another one of those to knit. I'd get on with that, I think. Yeah. And so this is the yarn. Oh my God, this is the yarn. How do you fit everything in all these little bags? I know, cram. I'll just show you the, them in the ball. In the... Oh, I love those colours though. Yeah. Can I have both bits back after? I think they might be mine. No, I gave them to you. Did you? Yeah. Left over from I, my whistle down. I need to whistle down those and do in those. Oh, right. Okay. Yes, then. And I'll guess you want some of that. No, I don't mind. I don't know if there's going to be enough, actually. Anyway, I've got another bit of that. That's fine. Um, but I was thinking <laughs> it would make a nice striped sock. It would, but, Lots you've, of but you've got a sock to knit yet. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've got that sock to knit, and then the final pair. Are, are we following along, people? <laughs> there was a vanilla, an Anthony, a calico quilt, and now a Christmas at Bridgerton. And this is in Waking Up Early by Bird Street. And where have you left this sock without completing it? <laughs> <laughs> it needs kitchenering. And the reason I didn't kitchener it is because you'd have to cast, I'd have on, to cast the, the next one on. So, um, 
interesting, but you have to now. Yeah. But I would not have done any of these if no. I hadn't made the January yeah, challenge. That's really good. Because it's the last thing I think about doing. But you're enjoying it. I am enjoying it. But it is the last thing yeah. that I think about doing. Yeah. But um That's lovely. Yeah. So um this like this design is gorgeous. It's got this pattern, this lacy pattern down the front and then a little lacy bit, down, bit down the back. And the yarn's got sparkles in it. Yeah, very nice. And I can't, I actually frogged mine. Yeah, it was, we cast our, it was our Christmas cast on. Last year before last. Yeah, that's how long it's been <laughs> sat in its little pouch. You are a little demon, aren't um, you? So yeah, so three of them are Village Street. And one of them is um, Fulkalana Arveta. Why don't you put... Oh, okay, this is right. There's lots of space in that bag. Yeah. I might put this in there. <laughs> right, let's not sort it out now. No. Just need to control the wreckage. That's <laughs> there. Right, so that's all, the, that's all of the progress on the... Are we gonna, um, do you think we're going to podcast again in January? Maybe the end of January. Mm. Um, I am thinking that I'm probably not going to get another three socks knit. <laughs> but if I could knit this one and the other Christmas at Bridgerton. Yeah, that would be brilliant. That would be amazing. Yeah. Because those are the ones you don't want to do. Yeah. Yeah. So do those next. Yeah. It's a so good I'm, idea. Yeah. Instead of casting on my Anthony, I'll cast yeah. on Calico Quilt. Cool. Um, Off his <laughs> <laughs> so you've got two more whips. I've got two more whips, yeah. I'll go next then with them. So last year, as I said, my monthly challenge, sock challenge to myself was to knit from my it was my self-striping stash. So I managed to get 12 oh, skeins. It's all right. 12 skeins of self-striping out of my stash. Although obviously I've got leftovers, which I'm trying to work out whether I could crochet some blanket or something with them. But I think you should do a northeasterly with self striping and just do a little. You can just do a little bit every now and yeah. again. That's a good idea. I was looking. It's a talking about it's a Sarah, but it's a Sarah's done one of those, mm. and it's so lovely. Yeah. And then she said she's when she's finished it, she would sit and say, "Oh yeah, that was that." Oh. Anyway, so that was last year's challenge, and this year's challenge. See my grey hair in this light. I'm just looking at it, glinting. Um, this year, my challenge is to knit each month. I'm going to think going to knit a skein of my beautiful Bird Street st yarn stash. So I looked out twelve skeins and I took photos of them. And this is the first. This is January, and this is um, Rosie Lee, which is this. We've got brown. It's very easy to see in this. It's there's, a lot pinker. Yeah, there's pink, brown speckles. You might see it better on the actual on yeah. the top sock. Should I use your blocker? Can I use my blocker? So I, of course, couldn't just knit a sock. I had to design a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't actually shown this to Claire. I meant to show her. I used to, I used to steam blocked it this morning. Uh, so I came up with this kind of... I like this wavy, the way that... Do you know what I think you should call them? What? Gypsy Rose Lee. <laughs> yeah. Is that not BC? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that. Anyway, you, yeah, you can see the speckles so much more now on the sock, can't you? Is it not rhyming slang for a cup of tea? Rosie Lee. Rosie Lee. They could be, they could be the Rosie Lee socks. We'll leave the gypsy then. <laughs> 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 so... Um, the top of the lace makes this line wavy and then I really like it. It reminds me of something like a tea teapot pot or a tea caddy. caddy. So but it's got this kind of like I don't know delicate lace anyway. So I don't know if people would like this to be a pattern. I could very easily write it up. So, Let's see why not. Yeah. 
So um, I've done the first one, so I haven't started the second one, but I will get them finished this month. What else have you got? Um, I have got my Lace Weight Morris. So I'm going to talk about Morris in a little bit because he's a new release. Oh, I just want to quickly say, sorry, that I, these are an acquisition, but I just wanted to show you the project bag that it's in. And this is, excuse me, I bought two of them. <laughs> As you do. These are by a company called Lysander and Olive. And they're Liberty. And they're the small, they do a mini and they're like gift bags. And they're just perfect. If you knit socks, go and look at their site. They're on Instagram. I'll we'll link the I'll link their Instagram mm -hmm. below. And um, I think they're like seven pounds. But I just love the if you have multiple sock whips. Yeah, then they're just they perfect. Shove into another bag. Yeah, and that will go in your handbag. And they also they're wide enough. They fit your DP my DPNs in the bottom. So I think they're really good. Anyway, that's what that they're living in. Cool. So Morris, the Morris Shaw was released on yesterday, Friday. Um, and there's three versions, sport weight, fingering weight and lace weight. And I started knitting the lace weight, but I didn't have time to finish it. But what I did was I got to the middle and then I was able to measure how yeah. big it's going to be and how much yarn I anticipate we would need. Mm -hmm. So um, this is the Lace Weight Morris. Help you with your yarn. Um, it's in. Um, what's that one? Oh, okay. it's on the. Of course, you're still knitting it. I'm still knitting it. So it's um, on this lace. It's lace weight. It's alpaca. Um, it's a very inky, inky blue, charcoaly grey blue. It's Faisana's garn, and. This yarn was gifted to me by Meg from No Frills, the new mm. line that they're cut that they're um, carrying mm. at the moment, um, and it's in colour six five eight one. It's a lovely one, um, and there's going to be some left over because you've got halfway, I'm and I'm still I'm halfway, and I've still got that much of the first ball. Great to go. So, um, but it's going to be so light. This is, the dimensions are, it's going to be the same length as the fingering weight version, mm -hmm. but it's two inches shallower. Right. That's but that, it's obviously not been blocked yet. No. So there's a chance it might, um, yeah, it beautiful. might grow a little bit, but um, yeah, it's lovely. Lace, Lace Morris. And you love the pattern so much, oh my don't God, you? I love you, the pattern so much. You've knitted three now, so. Yeah, and I I had a break from it. I knit, um, I started it on the airplane going out to Florida at the beginning of December. I knit solid for the first flight out and finished the first two sections. Um, then I knit a little bit on it in Florida, mm -hmm. knit nothing on the flight on the way home. And hadn't really knit very much. Um, and then this week I realised that I needed to get it halfway before mm -hmm. the pattern was released. And I started knitting it and I was like, oh my god, I love this so much. <laughs> so um, And this one is a gift for me. Yeah, that's for Rach. So that's so it's navy I'm, blue. So it's navy blue. I'm very excited about it. So, um, yeah, and I'm knitting it using these prim. Which you really like. Which I really like. They're called prim ergonomics. Mm. They're so light. Yeah, they're lovely. Mm. So yes, very good. So that's my one of my FOs, one of my whips. I've got one more. Have you? So I've got another sock whip, which was my Christmas day cast on, and that's obviously. Oh, you didn't say what the bag this is in. That's Lysander and Olive. Is it? All right, Rachel gave me that. Because I bought it and then you said I, I shouldn't have, I should have, I have too many. No, I didn't. 
I just said I liked it and right. you gave it me. It's very nice, isn't it? I like it. There you go. All right, I won't give you any more grief. <laughs> and then, so I gave her that one and then I went and bought two of those two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed, my husband's put me on a ban tomorrow. I'm not allowed to buy any project bags. So, Joe bought me this yarn in Vermont, at Vermont Sheep and Wool, and it's Woolens and Nosh. Let me get the little, bring out the middle. I love her lace. She was such a nice lady. Yeah. Woolens and Nosh, and it's in the colourway Seasons Greetings, and it's 90% superwash tahi, 10% nylon. And it is a bit thicker, but I've knitted it on the, my normal needles and it's fine. Um, so your normal needles is 2.5? Yeah, so it's 2.5. And it just feels, and the stitch, all the stitches are just so perfect. And it feels so lovely. So these are going to be afterthought um, heels as well. So I've done one and I'm on, I've just started the toe on the second one. And Can I, I literally... Can question yeah. about afterthought heels? Yeah. So you've put the heel in to go that side, mm -hmm. but most of the start of rounds. Well, I, I could side. I could change it, but I. You could, could you if you wanted to? Yeah, I could just do the other side. Oh, right, okay, fine. But You're I, not bothered. I'm not bothered. I, to, I always put it on what I think is the back when I'm mm. knitting. Yeah, so I'm I'm on the toe of the second one. And I literally knit that whole foot yesterday, waiting to go in to see my consultant because he was 50 minutes late. So, Hooray for delayed consultant. Yeah, well, I was happy. Mark wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those, I have wanted to finish the toe before we podcasted, but I didn't get a chance. So um, I'll be doing afterthought heel with you at some, time, some point this weekend. Yeah, so Before those. The end of January, yeah, sorry. so these will be finished this month as well. Cool. Where's your? <laughs> you okay? Yeah. So in my Christmas bag from Botanical Yarn, the lovely Christmas trees. Is my material girl. So this is a whip from last time. This isn't is it? a whip from last time, and it has it's got so, uh, it's got a reasonable amount of love. I was hoping I would finish it, but um, you know, Morris's and <laughs> socks and fizzy pops and hats all took over instead. <laughs> so I'm knitting this in from a woolly knit cone in their British merino. So they do. British wool cone mm -hmm. and then they do British merino cone and the British wool is a bit cheaper mm -hmm. than the British merino but I just love this this these colour. are 26 pounds yeah and you get 500 gram four, 400 grams, 500 grams. grams so that's very reasonable isn't it yeah and I'm holding it on its own I'm not um some people hold it double to get Can double I have a bit of leftovers um, I'm not sure because I think I want to make sure. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I'm just holding it one strand, and um, I've put some sequins, some olive sequins and stripes on the top. They look like they're electric lights in this line. <laughs> Christmas tree lights. And I have knit. Well, do you know where you were? I've knit about. Six inches. Six inches of the body. Maybe I no, I wasn't there because I bought that at on Christmas Box, Eve. Christmas Eve. So I probably knit like maybe ten inches of the body. Um, it looks like it looks like a bought jumper, doesn't it? Mm. So I just love it, and it, I'm mm. knitting it really long, or longer than I normally would, because I want it like a slouchy sweatshirt. Mm. Yeah, so I'm going to wear it with jeans. And I love it. Cool. So it's so what I do, what I've been doing is um, first thing in the morning, I get up really early. I'm definitely what I think they would call an extreme lark. So I'm usually awake by five o'clock. 
and um, depending on how um, loudly my husband is snoring, I will either read in bed or I will go downstairs and knit. So I've been knitting on this first thing in the morning mm -hmm. until I go and get in the shower. And then I knit on um, a design that there's lots of designs happening that I can't tell you about. Um, so I'm usually knit on something like that before when I chat to you. And then in the day, I'll knit on a sock. Mm -hmm. And in the evening, I knit on a design. So, um, yeah, I probably knit for, I would say, eight hours a day. <laughs> and work. And I knit during work. Yeah. I, knit, I knit through meetings. Mm. I knit through lunch. I finish work at about quarter to six. And I knit mm. until bed. Well, the last, in the last three, well, I've been on steroids this week, and the last three nights, I was awake at 2am, and I knitted all 3.30 the next morning, and this morning it was five. Yeah. There's lots of knitting has been happening. So, um, yeah. And I think I do about two inches in a couple of hours, it's like an inch an hour. Yeah. Because I've, I've had a couple of days when I've done no knitting. Yeah. So, so I've only got a couple more inches to go on the, of the stock, oh, an inch and a half of stockingette and then an inch and a half of rib. And then onto the sleeves. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so my... Um, this is a whip from the last episode as well. And it's living in my Bird Street Abby Quinn collab bag. <laughs> Which is beautiful and big enough for a sweater. So. Is my modified? I'm call, I call it my modified flax because I put a pattern down the sleeve rather than the garter. <laughs> and I realised that I am knitting. Um, it's massive, but it's going to be like a. It's like a boot. It's bit, should be part of a bougie sweatshirt. Um, why can't it cow? I'm not sure if I started it before the cow. Oh, right, okay. I can't find the cow actually mm -hmm. <laughs> on Instagram. I'll have to have a look. And this is, I'm knitting this in King Cole Forest. I think it's King Cole. I've got a label in my bag. Which is recycled yarn. Has it got cotton in it? King Cole Forest. It's recycled Aran. And it's wool, acrylic, polyamide, and viscose. Oh, it feels quite cottony. Yeah. I think I might have said that on the last podcast too. So uh, it's a, <laughs> this beautiful colour, which is called um, Red Bray Forest, I think. But their names are all like the Sherwood is green. And, mm. and the, yeah, so this is it's beautiful. It's got these lovely blue, yellow flecks in. And last, the podcast, it was hardly, you could hardly see what I was doing. You could hardly see the lace that I put on the sleeve, which turns out to be the Morris <laughs> lace. So it's the Morris sweater. It should be the Morris sweater. There you go. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. I don't know. If that way it's kind of more obvious. So it was, I'd barely done a repeat, couple of repeats, hadn't I? So I've obviously finished the, finished the body. And it's, uh, it's got a good 10 inches positive E. It's 50, I think it's 50 and a half inch bust is what I was doing. So um, that makes the yoke quite long when you do a raglan. Mm. So I tried it on and I, I've actually, I would never knit an 11 inch body. So it's nine inches of stocking stitch and then two inches of rib. And but that comes exactly where I want it to, which is below my. Mm -hmm. And you're going to keep jeans. carry the lace on into the. Yes, cuff. and I've done. I wanted to finish the sleeve in time for the podcast, but I haven't been able to. But you can see the lovely lace going down the thing, and I'm going to continue. I've got. I've just done the last decrease. Okay. I've got a few more rows to go, then I'm going to start the cuff, and this will continue into the cuff. So, should be lovely, and it's. Very reasonably priced yarn. So this is my third ball. I've got another ball, and it's they're like three ninety nine each. And so for us, 
16 then. Yeah, you can have a... I mean, it's... I would... Well, it is beautiful, isn't it? I mm. wouldn't say it was... Well, it's obviously not luxury, but it's a lovely, warm... Yeah, how much acrylic is in it? Quite a lot, actually. I put the thing down already. Well, I don't know, it's polymide. Anna, it's red bray wood, not red bray. It's got 20%, 35% wool, 20% acrylic, 25% polymide and 25% viscose. And a lot of their yarns have like 10% wool, don't mm. they, when people knit. But viscose is a natural fibre yeah. as well. And it's all recycled, it's recycled. Mm. So. And it's a really lovely colour and I think it suits me. <laughs> I'm quite looking forward to wearing it. I'm looking forward to seeing it blocked. Yeah. To see how it the stitches if the stitches smooth out a lot yeah. of stuff. Because sometimes with a lot of acrylic it doesn't block. The, hopefully the wool will mean it'll yeah. block. And I did the so tin can this is a tin can knits pattern, the flux, the flax. And they've added they've there's an option now for short rows to obviously lift raise the back of the neck. And you do them under the yoke. So I did I put did put them in. And is it free, Pam? One of the flaxes is free, isn't it? Yes, it is a free pattern. Anyway, I was just thinking then, that was my thinking. <laughs> that was your thinking, thinking. That was my thinking phase, yeah. Yes, so I've and I'm loving knitting on it. The yarn is really lovely to knit with, I have to say. And I've got three balls of grey and a ball of pink. And I'm thinking if I need four balls, mm -hmm. which I probably will, but I don't know if I'd knit the same size again. I was thinking of knitting like a striped yoke or striped sleeves. Stripes like a like the Marseille Marseille mm. kind of stripes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. In grey and pink. Cool. But I'm I'm saying it here. I am not knitting sweaters for a while after these two. I, although I've just bought a sweaters quantity for a love note. I'm, I want to knit some shawls. So I, want to, I really, really want to knit some shawls. So you're going to knit a Morris, aren't you? Yes. Well, we'll have a Morris cow. Okay, we'll have a Morris cow, even if it's just between me and you. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm sure I've got another lace weight one that to finish. I'm sure lots of people have you. I started a lace weight, a brown lace weight one in Garthnall. Oh right, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, people will we'll, um, have a, we'll have a Morris cow. Yeah. What are we talking about now? New releases. New releases. I've got one, so I just yeah. So, um, as you may know, if you watch the podcast, I'm not very well at the moment, and this year is going to be all about Joe's designs. Really, I'm taking a little bit of a step back and. Well, I'm not going to be as full on as I have been. And I am doing the Botanical Yarn Sock Club again this year. And obviously I'm releasing, I get to release the pattern six months after it comes out as the Sock Club. So I've still got patterns from last year to release in our, sto in our Ravelry store. And this is one of them. This is the July sock. And these are coming out next weekend. But I thought as we're podcasting, and they're not a, it's not like a um, secret. Mm. They've already been shown. I can show you this, these and they're coming. So they're, these are called the Rose Queen socks and they're coming out on Saturday, no Friday. I think I can, 21st, but I can do it Friday. And I designed them so that, so the, this runs down the outside of the leg on each side. Little. Could you double it and do them lace all over? Yeah. If you wanted to. If you wanted to. Yeah, because the instructions are. You just. I guess you just carry it on. I mean, it tells you how many to knit. If you. Hmm. And they've got long legs as well. Maybe it's just me blocking them. But. Yeah. So those yeah, are the Rose cool. Queen, and they'll be coming out next weekend with a discount code. So keep an eye out on our Instagrams. And then we'll add them, obviously add them to the podcast mm -hmm. bonus thing. Yeah. I think I've got the previous months to add to that. 
and another couple of things. But um, yeah, like your stuff. Yes. Yeah, so um, Joe has got had so much stuff come out <laughs> that um, well, we show, I think we've showed. It's all been shown before, but just in case this is the first time you are watching us, uh, we've had we had a release last weekend. The trillion, cowl. the trillion cowl. Um, so this is I'll be really, really quick about it. This is based on my trillion shawl pattern, and it's yarn by the Wool Kitchen, and the colours are grey matter is the main colour, and, incandes and incandescent is the. And just put it on because when you had it on before, but so it's um. It's an asymmetric. So it's knitted um, flat. You knit flat, and then yeah. you seam it down the back um, and then I fold it down so it's so you get like, like a, a nice a double nice cushion no, yeah that's lovely and then you get the triangles down the front and across the across the side yeah so I started I started testing it for you didn't I I was yeah. part of the testing it but I, I didn't like my yarn I gave up <laughs> So um, this was released last weekend mm -hmm. and the introductory offer has finished, but it will be in the podcast, podcast bonus. bonus. So you can still get 20% yeah. off the pattern price if you fancy knitting that one. Two skeins of double knit and about 20 grams of mohair. It's lovely. Um, I knit one for my dad for Christmas. I've got a picture of me wearing it. He needs... A lesson in how to wear it, though. Yeah, he does. You just find the picture. How of did he put it, it on? He had that going down the back. He had the point going down the back. Oh, right. <laughs> He's like, father, 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 father. So it was like a look at me, I look really dopey. Um, <laughs> it was a brown um, Rowan Island blends with yeah. cashmere in it. It's a beautiful yarn. I think it's discontinued, and then it had was a silk um, lace weight that I added in, which was in a like a terracotta, rusty kind of colour, mm. and um, I didn't think he wanted would want mohair, no. so I did it with with a lace weight. Um, but actually, when I the first draft of the pattern was had one extra repeat in it yeah. from the from this one. <laughs> So that was knit using that, and then we then I realised that I'd done an extra repeat, so I took it out for the original pat for the final pattern. But so he's got a nice big chunky, chunky version. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's um. Can I rip, and, can I rip your water? Yes, yeah, you can. And I'm going to see him in the Isle of Man at the beginning of February, so I'll, I might take a picture of us both wearing. Oh. I don't know if actually I might not have mine. I might be lending it to, to the dyer for show but um i will take a picture of him wearing it mm. with me <laughs> um and then this weekend yesterday when we mentioned the morris so um these are the two versions of morris fingering weight version which is in creme key lazy linen which is wool and 90 percent um, wool and 10 percent linen um, and it's in like a putty kind of, I think it's called light sage, but it looks like. And that's from of, No Frills. This is from it? No Frills. Um, and it's lovely. Um, yeah. Um, and then the big, the big version. <laughs> so this. if you've been following us, if you follow us on Instagram, this has been all over yeah. our Instagram this weekend. And this is um, Beautiful Knitter's. Victoria in the, in the colourway pine. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's um, camel, isn't it? Yeah, camel and merino and camel mix. And Karen from Beautiful Knitters um, gifted me this yarn to design with. And um, I'm hoping that she loves the outcome. Because yeah. it's, um, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, the yarn is so squishy and soft. Um, but in this garter rib, it's just. Um, Love it. And um, one of our, our friend Maggie, who tested and she tested it for you, did it in Am fi the Fiber Co yeah. Amble, and it is beautiful. Yeah. So this, at the moment, until 
Will this be up before his end of the... No, possibly. There might be a little bit of time, but... Yeah, so Sunday night, um, the intro offer ends. It's 25% off at the moment, but obviously you'll still get 20% off with the podcast yeah. bonus. So, um, so yeah, so there's mm. that. That's that one. Um, and then... Something very exciting. <laughs> so, I mean, if you follow us on Instagram, you'll already have seen this because I was just so excited <laughs> when this came out. So um, I have designed a couple of things um, for the Knitter magazine. And this is the first issue that my design is in and my name is on the cover. <laughs> Which I think is just amazing. Um, I think for all the years we've looked at the Knitter. Yeah. And now there's an issue with my name on the cover. Yeah. Um, and this is the design. Ooh. It's called the Cadenza Shawl. And it's knit in fibre space, um, cumulus and um, vivacious. vivacious. Um, and that's the back view. Is a pattern away. Um, and it's a it's a, a, a sort of quite well fairly quick knit. It's, they styled it so lovely. Yeah, I think it's it's so weird seeing your design mm. on a model. <laughs> so yeah, so I absolutely love that. Um, please please this punch. Um, and the there's, a, there's another design in next month's issue too uh, which I obviously haven't got yet um, you're on a roll aren't you yeah um so yeah so I'm really excited about that cool yeah so so acquisitions mm. do you want to just should we flesh out the Morris cow a little bit before mm -hmm. so when should we start I think Beginning we just start there. we just start oh. ne uh, start now okay and we'll let it run till the end of March. Okay. All right, so, um, yeah, so if you bought, if you had did buy the pattern this weekend and you want to start, you can just start because I don't, I wouldn't want to, anybody, you know, if you're really excited yeah. about it. Loads of people have been saying they want to come. Wouldn't to want you to, you know. So, so we'll, we'll set up a thread in the Ravelry group. Yeah. I'd love to see the yarn that people are going to pick as well yeah. to knit it in. And we use the hashtag Morris Cow. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, and then, um, we will come up with a prize of some sort. Yeah. So, that was easy, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh. so now we've got acquisitions to talk about, and I have, I don't know what the term is, plethora? <laughs> That's a nice way of saying, I was going to say, I've shit the bed. <laughs> In J.D. Brown fashion. <laughs> I have been buying yarn, people. So if this isn't your jam, if this bit isn't your, you don't like seeing yarn piggery, um, then we will say must say goodbye. goodbye. Thank you for watching. Um, and like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> we never see, say that. Um, see you next time. Yeah. But now, Go take a look at some of our patterns, see if you want to join in the Morris Cow. Yeah, and if you knit any of our patterns, join our thread, that, the other thread on Ravelry, and in our Ravelry group, and you could win a prize every month. Cool. So, and for the people who do like yarn, yarn piggery, piggery, let's get started. Right. So I have this bag, which doesn't contain every, it's got one of Oh. I only bought one. I only bought one of each thing. Shall I unpack it like it's Christmas? Yeah. Can I sit and eat a biscuit while you're doing yeah. that? Thank you. They gave us some big Lotus Biscoff in the hotel. So. <laughs> I've got books and everything. And one of my books. Oh, oh. Um, I bought the 52 weeks of Easy Knits from Sophie and she didn't bring it when she came to see me. 
<laughs> she's got to send it next week but i've also bought that right so let's start at the beginning christmas eve we went to Yar um, oxford yarn store and i bought Mr. Oh, my book I, I saw this best and this very simple designs from Rowan Moda Moda at Rowan um, but it's a lovely and it's all that in their um, felted tweed Rowan felted tweed so I bought um, enough I bought for my side, enough balls to make that vest in this heather blue colour, which I really want to cast on. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't actually. But You're not doing any sweaters. I'm not doing. That's not this the vest. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sweater vest, so <laughs> better not do it. Yeah. So I bought that, and I bought that, and I also bought this. I could not resist the skein of Manos de Uruguay Allegra. Um, these colours are just, that's me in a skein of yarn. <laughs> and this is the most lovely sock yarn. It's, I think it's 70, yeah, 75, 25, merino, superwash merino, probably wide. But it's just so soft. I don't know if, if you've knitted with this, treat yourself. And this is the colourway Fondo de Mer. How much is a skein of that? Um, I want to say £17. So it's not ridiculous. No, it's not ridiculous. It's expensive. And it is, I've had another one called, which is called Mangler, which is a bit of a weird name. And I used every scrap. I used it for heels and toes and <laughs> loved it. So highly recommend Anna Stuhlwein. Is that everything? From no. There? No. And the reason we went there was that they are having their 10th, celebrating 10 years of being open and I designed they've made this little booklet which you can buy there's lots of um you buy the yarn no as long as they're available <laughs> is what I'm saying you can buy them but they only had a certain mm. they made a certain amount so and I show you my so there's five patterns inspired by Oxford and I'll show you my I might have shown the socks. Did I show the socks on the podcast? I think you have shown the socks on the podcast. They're not all together in a picture. Mm. Um, so yeah, so that's my Oxford Spires socks. And you can only get the pattern in this booklet. It's not, they bought the exclusive pattern. And then I also bought liner 16. Sorry, well I've been using my book <laughs> What out of there are you going to knit? What out of here am I going to knit? Mm. Oh, I couldn't tell you right off the top of my head. I like that. <laughs> um, I don't know, Jo. I haven't okay. looked at it enough to say. No, I haven't looked at it enough <clears> to say. <throat> but I love... There's, I know when I looked at it, there's lots of things that I like. So that's definitely a keeper. And I bought... Some Isaiah mm -hmm. um, to knit another fizzy pop. Mm -hmm. So I bought this alpaca two in the colour Time and some murky green <laughs> mohair in the colour 68. Lovely. And I'm also going to add in the sequins yeah. that were in the Mark Material Girl into the pot that'll be a electric pop <laughs> yeah oh i don't know if i've got enough to add it into the main garter no just in the pops mm. i think so um so yeah so i got that and i got i bought two skeins of this mm. lang cashmere in the color 78 and what is the meterage of that is 115 it? meters for 25 grams mm. The knit hat. So four ply. Mm. I'm gonna knit. I'm gonna knit hat. I think I thought to fifty grams would be enough. It would. I think more. Yeah, I've got a little hat head of me. 
So I think I'm going to put a Sophie Cowell cable just up the front of a hat. Mm. And do a toe head. Do a toe head. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Whether I'm not, I should just cast that on. So now we have a little tale to tell. So my dad, our dad, he loves, I knit him socks all the time. He loves my hand knitted socks. But every time I knit him a sock, pair of socks, he says, oh, they're lovely, but I really want a pair in the Ukrainian flag, coloured yellow and blue. He support, really supports Ukraine, which we all try and support Ukraine, but dad is. So I ordered, thinking it was the right colour, from um, Suffolk Socks when she was having a moving. I ordered these two skeins of socks yeah and i ordered this yellow which is fine this is lovely yarn this is lovely yarn as well but look at the drape on it but i bought this because i thought that was too mustard <laughs> <laughs> and it's exactly the same color so that's some socks yeah that i already had I think he would have been happy with that. So, and this has got cashmere, and I'm going to knit myself a pair of shorties just in yellow cashmere. Mm. Or maybe I, probably, I can get a full sock out. I did heels and toes or something else. Anyway, so I bought that, changed my mind, and then I went to Wool Warehouse and just got bog standard um, West Yorkshire spinners. So that's what he's getting. So you're going to have blue sock with yellow cuffs, cuffs and, and heels and toes. And I might do the other way around. There'll be, it'll probably the, there'll be enough yarn, you see, to make, make two pairs. Oh, right. I'm not doing stripey, no. Too many ends yeah, to sew so that's what he's having out of that. And also, he he washes, he has a lot of the West Yorkshire Spinner sock, darn socks, and he like looks after them, mm. and stuff, so he can have that. And of course... If you spend £25, you get free shipping. So I had to treat myself to this new colourway, well, new to me colourway of Zara Ball. And I'm going to knit something delicious because it's lovely. What's that called? That is called Shack and Springer. I can't remember what. On the website, it, we could look it up. On the website, it'll say it in English. But that's the colours that it goes to. Oh, nice. And I don't want to knit socks with it. I might just knit like a tubey cowl or something. Mm. That's lovely. So that was that day. <laughs> <laughs> you got more? Mm. A lot more. I've got two trips. Oh, right. Two trips where one in the one was a tiny trip and one was a... Right, I, so haven't brought, I didn't bring it all with me because when I explain what I did, you but understand. I didn't want to see the point bringing it. I, I've decided that I'm going to d design a colourwork sock using these yarns. So that's exciting. And we think we might, it might be a charity sock. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. the money would go to you, Ukraine, support Ukraine. Oh, deck. Yeah. Well, some charity. Some, cha some charity for that would help the people in Ukraine. Yeah. Maybe you'll want the people in Ukraine who are here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've got... Okay. So I... <laughs> you know when you wake up really early? <laughs> are we... All the details of the colourways and everything will be in the description. Right. Yeah. So like blue or yellow. So um, I woke up early one morning and I was looking at Instagram and Woolly Knit were having a jumbo comb sale and I thought in a very similar way that Amy Powell, I was watching Amy Powell's podcast, she also thought that jumbo comb sale meant a huge number of combs that they were going to be giving away, mm. not giving away but you know mm. reducing, that wasn't what it was, it was jumbo combs <laughs> and they were merino cotton so it's um, one strand of merino and one strand of cotton plied, plied together. together. Right. Um, limited number of colours, um, but all very neutral. 
and it was one and a half, one point six kilos of yarn for ten pounds. And I knit. I do a lot of trying things out. Mm. So I thought, and a lot of my stuff, they're all fingering weight. A lot of my stuff is fingering weight. So I thought, I'm just going to buy myself one of these big cones, merino cottons, so that if I want to try out a lace or I mm. want to try out something, I can just use that rather than, because some of the yarns I've got, I've tried stuff, unpicked it, and mm. it just ruins the yarn if you've got a soft. You know, sometimes you have to swatch in the actual yarn. Yeah. Because you want to see what the drapes like or whatever, but for trying out a lace pattern, whether that works, this will be perfect. Mm -hmm. So I went on and I looked and I bought one in new, like just a natural colour, and then they had a, a black marl and a like a neppy marl as like a natural with black neps in it. Mm -hmm. So I bought three. I bought three 1.6 kilo cones <coughs> and um you're gonna give me some aren't you yes you want a drink? i'm fine amy, amy i watched I'm watching amy palco's podcast she's ordered mm -hmm. one and she's worked out that it's six kilometers of yarn so i've basically ordered 18 <laughs> kilometers <laughs> of merino cotton but i do want to knit a half and half triangle wrap mm -hmm. in it i'm gonna have half black and half Neppy, mm, nice. and because it that was thirty pounds, but because they're so big, she hasn't brought them to show you. No, I haven't brought to show you, um, and I don't think this. I think they've sold. Do you know what I mean? I think it was a limited yeah. offer, so you probably can't get them. So, but I will. Sh if I knit anything with it, I will show yeah. you it. But I also bought this. Um, this is another cone of um, British Merino. And it's in the colour Koshka. Did you tell me that you got this? Gold. Gosh, Koshka gold. Did you tell me that? Did you show me this? Yeah. Oh. Um, and in this light, it looks green. It's it? like um, it's like a mustard. Dark, yeah. Dingy. Dark, mustard. dingy mustard gold. And I want to knit shawl. Morris. Possibly a Morris. In this, it's cool. I love it. Smell it. Oh, sheep. Oh, I love it. Stop it. Stop it right now. So yeah. So I bought that. Mm -hmm. What's that? And this is my trip in the week. All oh, right. So this is. You might. Um, does it go? Yeah, with, yeah. It does go with that. Um. Um. So yeah. So I bought four cones. Three big ones and one. Reasonably baby good. <laughs> and then I've had an idea for another design, and I needed some mohair to go with it, to go in in the design. And this is colour. I had already had two of the colours that I wanted, and I needed a third colour. Uh -huh. And this I bought at No Frills in the week. Um, it's knitting for Olive soft silk mohair in the colour dark mustard mm -hmm. and if I'm not if I don't use all of that for the design which is unlikely mm -hmm. it matches it matches and might become mm -hmm. something else so um so yeah I've not tried knitting for all this mohair no. before so it's going to be held with a strand of fingering weight for this for the design that I've got in my mind um but I love the colour. Yeah, it's lovely. So yeah, so those are my acquisitions. So I got a gift for my birthday from Sophie of Botanical Yarn. And she bought me this skein of Earl Grey fibres from when she went when she was at Woolen Folk before Rhinebeck. And this was um, their Earl Grey fibres Rhinebeck colourway. Oh, it's lovely. And it's called Mums. Mums. Croissant the mummies? Yeah, I think so. It's lovely. lovely. And it's on their Darjeeling sock base. And she's not she's stopping dying. And I've got another skein of I've bought I met first met her. No, it's still there. In uh, at a yarn the first like indie yarn show I, really, I went to in America. In just outside Seattle. I bought three skeins of her yarn and used every centimetre of it. 
I loved it so much. And then we met, we saw her again at Knit City, didn't we? Mm. And I got a skein. So I've got like a brownie autumnal, which I think would look quite nice together. So I might knit them together somehow. Although they could just become socks. Mm. Obvs. And then I ordered the Flower Power Fund um, charity skein for this year. So last year I designed the sock pattern, tete a socks for the Flower Power Fund. And if you want to buy that pattern, the, all the proceeds still go to the flower, will always go to the Flower Power Fund, which is Marie Curie. And they have a thing where they try and knit a pair of, people knit socks and donate them. And they try and gift a pair of socks to every person who's in hospice at Christmas. And then um, Wild, this year, Wild Pearl Yarns did the colourway, and this is called Snowdrop. And five pounds from every skein went to the Flower Power Fund. So I bought a skein. And I love it. It's so beautiful that uh, you've got this little Snowdrop progress keeper. That I contacted Sarah, who runs the Flower Power Fund, and said, would you mind, would it be... Would I be stepping on anyone's toes if I designed a sock in, in this? Obviously, all the money would still go, would, like with all our charity patterns, the money goes yes. forever to the... And she was like, no, I'd be delighted. So I'm going to design a sock. And I've already come up with my ID. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to be starting that next week. And then I just had one last little splurge. That actually, I bought these from Love Crafts about, honestly, it took so much longer to come than the, and it was st both with every, or whatever it's called. Mm. Anyway, I... Same delivery person? No. A bloke who didn't turn up two nights running. Anyway, I was waiting on my yarn. Does he not know? <laughs> so, I already have another sweaters quantity of this yarn which I haven't knitted yet but Jo has used hers in her Easy V and loved it so it was on offer um, Lovecrafts had a thing where if you bought 10 balls you got 40% off and 10 balls of anything or 10 balls of the same 10 thing. balls of anything and then everything else afterwards had 40 like the whole thing mm. so I bought I bought 10 balls of this which is Willow and Lark's Poetry and this is in the lake, in the colour lake blue. I should knit a tally. Ah, I'm so actually instead of doing another. Yeah, love note. But I got rid of a love note, so I wanted to oh, place right. my love note. Um, I could knit a Halloween the grey one I got. Yeah, so this is, I love this colour. Um, and this is merino camel and acrylic. And I also, at the same time, bought five balls of this mohair, which is Valley Yarns from, this is basically Rebs, isn't it? Mm. And it's 72% kid mohair, 28% Mulberry silk in this olive colourway, which is definitely more olive even. That. It's more and olive it's, than mine. Yeah, and it's this is to go with um, some Malabrigo lace that I've got in olive. And I meant to look up the name of the sweater. It's by um, Hirose Midori, the same person who designed the Ranunculus, um, but from a couple of years before the Ranunculus came out. And um, it's lace weight held with mohair. So and it's very simple um, sweater, or it might become something else, but that's mm -hmm. about my idea at the moment. So I treated cool. myself to that. And then I've just got a book, another book to show. So um, I've got two of Wendy Bernard's stitch directories. This is a new stitch, new stitch directory, which is when you're designing is important. Although I have to say that she's combined her books into this. So if you haven't got her stitch dictionary, this is the one to get the ultimate all around stitch dictionary. Is there new stuff as well? There's new stuff as well. Mm. And she does, because there's not much colour work mm. in the other one. So she does up, down, top down, bottom up, in the round and flat. So, 
that is very good and it is a i mean it's not like extortionate so it is a good mm. resource to have so i got this from amazon i'm afraid the other day <laughs> and um yeah i just i mean it's very useful if you're a if you're designing yeah so i was looking for some inspiration i like that yeah so yeah what's that these are so we a very oh. a, a viewer we finished that's the last of the acquisitions I oh think. i just got oh right okay so for my birthday sophie very kindly gave me a della q bag it's a set a set of two makers keeps like what they're called makers bags um so they're like bucket yeah kind of like, like a bucket bag and it came with a little tiny notebook and a tapestry needle life is what you make of it and she also gave me some Those tea lights nice. which are very smelly pungent <laughs> nice now nice but yeah but very pungent so yeah thank yeah. you very much though i think you probably won't watch this but um <laughs> I will let you know that I love it another way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, and this is awful. And my phone's, we're using my phone to record, so I can't look up who it was. I will say thank you in the show notes because we are, um, I don't even know if I emailed her to say we'd arrived. It's awful. It was a very busy time. But anyway, she's a viewer of the podcast and she messaged me and said, could she donate to so I've got Pom Pom and the Moon and Turtle book. Sorry, Pom Pom. So we haven't opened them. We haven't opened them. These are going to be a giveaway um, or maybe part of the prize for the Morris Cow lady instead. If we give away the Pom Pom and keep the yes. book for the cow. Yeah. So um, which, I guess. Which is your Pom Pom, is it? I don't know. Do you want me to open it? Do you want me to open? What were you going to say? Should I open it? Go on then. Um, so just comment below and say, and put pom pom in your comment if you want to be, I'll tell you what the, I'm opening it now. People. I'm not sure I've got that one. <laughs> it's, a very slim version of pom pom. It's got a lot of patterns in it though. Is it like a pom pom? It's pom pom quarterly. Oh, it says it's. Oh. Issue one. Pom pom quarterly issue. It's pom pom quarterly. Yeah. Well. 2017 it's pom pom so you may never have seen it yeah i've never seen it so if anybody so um if you don't mind i'm gonna have a look through that <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna put it back in the little thing now mm. I'm, gonna quick look. I'm gonna have a quick gander through that yeah, one so if anybody would like to win pom pom quarterly number one then um, put pom pom in your comment below, below, and we'll draw a prize before the next. Yeah, we we'll record again. Sorry, I had to open it, but you'll understand. So we're probably going to record again in a couple of weeks. Yeah, hopefully. And um, if you can get Dad's socks knit, I can take them with me. Omg, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Um, no, not gonna happen. And then the moon and turtle will probably put in the, into the Morris cow. Oh, yeah, that's good, isn't it? Oh look, we're just coming up to around an, an hour and a half, so I think it's time to yeah. say enough talking, enough of us two <laughs> blithering on. So tomorrow we're going to the um, Waltham Abbey Waltham Abbey wool show, and we will, I mean, you might try and take a bit of footage. We're not very good at that kind of thing. No, we forget. We get overexcited talking um, to our friends yeah and, uh, forget but we might 
take some pictures of what we buy and put them in. I or think we should just we'll do it for next, that on the next podcast. Okay. Right. Thank you, everybody. If you've managed to get to the yeah. end of an hour and a half of us wittering on, um, we're really happy that you joined us. Yeah. And um, if you do uh, enjoy this, subscribe <laughs> and like. It can really help. Um, yeah. But yeah, we just love doing it. We just love chatting yeah. about and stuff. And we'd like it? to, I'd like to know how you get to be, how you get your episodes more visible. Yeah. So, anyway, just thought we're not really good at this kind of, at the YouTubes. So, no. Yeah. Anyway, have a good, have a good evening. Happy knitting, everybody. And we will, we will see you soon. soon. Bye. Bye.